problem is obtain the Fourier series for f of x is equal to x sin x in interval minus pi to plus pi. So before starting solution of this problem, one concept is there if f of x involves sin x or cos x, then find a1 and b1 also. Means after a n we have to find a1, after b n we have to find b1. So why we find a1 and b1 we will see in this example. Now we will start the solution of this problem f of x is equal to x sin x given in we have to find Fourier series of x sin x in the interval minus pi to plus pi so again interval is minus pi to plus pi so we have to check given function is here l equal to pi so we have to check given function is e1 or odd so how we check by putting x equal to minus x so if we put x equal to minus x then minus x into sin of minus x sin of minus x is minus sin x so this is minus minus plus x sin x is equal to f of x and therefore f of x is an e1 function and if f of x is e1 then bn equal to 0 so you have to find only a0 and an so its Fourier series expansion is f of x is equal to a0 by 2 plus summation of n varies from 1 to infinity an cos n pi x by l so we have to find only a0 and a n okay where a0 is equal to 2 by l so l is pi here 2 by pi integration of 0 to l that is 0 to pi f of x means x sin x dx okay so we have to find integration of this using generalized rule of integration by parts this is u this is v so u v1 means x into integration of sin x is minus cos x minus u dash derivative of this integration of this derivative of this one integration of this minus sin x minus cos x ka integration in minus sin x x varies from 0 to pi is equal to 2 by pi into upper limit is minus pi cos pi minus minus plus sin pi lower limit minus a minus minus plus x equal to 0 0 into cos 0 is 0 and here minus minus plus again minus sin 0 is 0 is equal to we know that cos pi equal to minus 1 sin pi is again 0 so if you put here cos pi equal to minus 1 this minus minus plus pi pi get cancelled so a0 equal to 2 after a0 we have to find a n and for a n formula is a n is equal to 2 by l l is pi here 2 by pi integration of 0 to pi f of x f of x is x sin x into cos n pi x by l that is cos n x dx if you put l equal to pi 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 get cancelled so we have to find integration of this term x into sin x x sin x cos n x this is a product of three functions so how we integrate before taking integration we have to use one formula here 2 by pi into integration of 0 to pi right x as it is and sin x into cos n x how we write this we have to use sin a cos b formula and i think sin a cos b is one half times sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b so sin of a plus b means sin of x plus n x take a is equal to x b is equal to n x plus sin of a minus b x minus nx into dx okay can be written as is equal to this 2 to get cancel 1 by pi into integration of 0 to pi x into sin of from this if we take x common 1 plus n into x plus sin of 1 minus n into x dx now we have to take integration of this term for integration i can take u equal to this and v equal to total square bracket this is equal to 1 by pi into integration u that is x into integration of v means v1 integration of this total square bracket integration of sin is minus cos of 1 plus n into x upon 1 plus n minus integration of this cos of 1 minus n into x upon 1 minus n bracket complete here minus u dash u dash means derivative of x is 1 into integration of this term total square bracket integration of this cos is sin so minus sin as it is sin of 
1 plus n into x upon 1 plus n into 1 plus n that is 1 plus n bracket square minus integration of this cos is also sin of 1 minus n into x upon 1 minus n into 1 minus n 1 minus n bracket square so this integration is complete here limit is 0 to pi and we know that for all values of sin n pi for all values of n sin n pi is 0 and cos n pi is minus 1 raised to n now here if we put upper limit x is equal to pi so in first here x is equal to pi so pi into cos of 1 plus n pi this minus as it is cos n pi if you put x equal to pi here so cos n pi is minus 1 raised to n so cos of 1 plus n pi minus 1 raised to 1 plus n upon 1 plus n minus same here x equal to pi if you put cos of 1 minus n pi minus 1 raised to 1 minus n upon 1 minus n here this minus this minus plus x is equal to pi sin of 1 plus n pi sin n pi is 0 for all n so sin of 1 plus n pi is also 0 sin of 1 minus n pi is also 0 this is upper limit now lower limit if you put x equal to 0 0 into this square bracket that is 0 into something is 0 here also sin term here also sin n if you put x equal to 0 here 0 sin 0 sin 0 sin 0 is 0 so lower limit is total 0 ok so this pi pi get cancelled how we write final answer that is uh, minus 1 raised to 1 plus n upon 1 plus n minus minus 1 raised to 1 minus n upon 1 minus n ok and we know that this minus 1 raised to 1 plus n is always equal to minus 1 raised to 1 minus n so from this we can take minus sign common also minus 1 raised to 1 plus n take common so 1 upon 1 plus n plus 1 upon 1 minus n after simplification this since give reason here minus 1 raised to 1 plus n equal to minus 1 raised to 1 minus n you can check this so minus minus 1 raised to 1 plus n into if you take lcm is take cross product here 1 minus n plus 1 plus n upon 1 minus n square so this n n get cancelled 1 plus 1 is 2 so the value of a n is value of a n is a n is equal to minus minus 1 raised to 1 plus n minus 1 raised to 1 plus n into 2 upon 1 minus n square into 2 upon 1 minus n square so this is true for n is not equal to 1 for n is not equal to 1 because if we put n equal to 1 here then we get a1 equal to infinity and we have to find Fourier series means if we expand that series for n equal to 1 to infinity then we get a1 infinity so total series is infinity so for n equal to 1 we have to find a1 separately because f of x inverse sin x here so we have to find a1 also so how we find a1 we know that a n is equal to 2 by l l is pi here integration of 0 to pi 0 to l f of x f of x is x sin x into cos n pi x by l l equal to pi that is cos n x n equal to 1 that is cos x dx in that formula put is in a n put n equal to 1 a n ka jo formula hai 2 by l 0 to l f of x sin cos n pi x by l us formula mein n ki value 1 put karo now we have to find integration of this so how we find integration for integration if you write here one step 1 upon pi into 0 to pi x into 2 times sin x cos x dx so what is 2 sin x cos x 2 sin x cos x is sin 2x means 1 by pi into 0 to pi x into sin 2x dx since 2 sin x cos x is equal to sin 2x now take u equal to x v equal to sin 2x use u into v rule so 1 by pi u v1 that is x into integration of sin 2x is minus cos 2x upon 2 minus u dash derivative of x is 1 into integration of this is minus sin 2x upon 2 into 2 4 and next one is 0 into limited 0 to pi 
so put your upper lower limit is equal to 1 by pi into upper limit x is equal to pi minus sin pi into cos 2 pi upon 2 minus minus plus sin 2 pi upon 4 lower limit minus lower limit minus plus x multiple a so 0 here minus minus plus again minus sin 0 is 0 so lower limit is total 0 is equal to 1 upon pi into what is cos 2 pi cos 2 pi is 1 minus pi by 2 plus sin 2 pi is 0 so this is equal to minus 1 by 2 so a1 is minus 1 by 2 and therefore equation 1 becomes in equation 1 we have to write Fourier series of f of x that is a0 by 2 now we know here a1 is minus half so we have to expand that series a0 by 2 plus equation 1 is a0 by 2 plus summation of a n cos n pi x by l for n equal to 1 if we expand that a1 cos x l equal to after putting pi n plus summation of n starts from 2 to infinity here a n cos n x okay now put the value of a0 a1 a n so what is a0 a0 is 2 a0 is 2 that is 2 by 2 plus a1 is minus 1 by 2 cos x and plus summation of n varies from 2 to infinity a n a n is this minus minus 1 raised to 1 plus n upon 1 minus n square into 2 cos n x okay that is 1 2 to get cancel 1 minus cos 6 by 2 minus summation of n varies from 2 to infinity 2 into minus 1 raised to 1 plus n upon 1 minus n square into cos nx so this is the required Fourier series of x sin x in the interval minus pi 2 plus pi